Coach, he relayed for us the phone call, which just blew him away. To the best of your recollection, what happened? Well, I surprised him, you know, and, and uh, I played with it a little bit, you know, and then I told him I was looking for a linebacker, and, and, and he, you know, he might have said that, uh, you know, yeah, you found it, you know, but who is this or whatever, you know, something like that. And we went back and forth and had a lot of fun with it, you know, and, and I didn't know what I was getting into at the time. I had no idea what, I, you know, what I was up against, and, and, uh, and I just was impressed from where it go. Now, we, we communicated. We text back and forth. Uh, we talked a number of times after that. Um, we tried to counsel him through, you know, the, the, whether he should go with other clubs and all that kind of stuff. And I told him I'd help him in any way that I could. So we talked back and forth. I remember. Why, why did you have an interest to even want to help? I mean, you knew he had been out of the league, not even in the league, 10 years away from the game. What even sparked an interest on your part, Pete? Yeah, I don't know that, James, other than, uh, I don't, I don't know. That's just, I in just, the phone calls, I mean, he, did he say something? Did he touch your heart with anything? Yeah, that well, you? he was extremely impressive, as you, you, you know, you, mm -hmm. you find out and all, and all, and it just, I think probably the fact that he wasn't bitter, that he wasn't, you know, on the other end, end of the spectrum of, of this whole thing, with, that he deserves to be if he wanted to be, the fact that he was, he was so forward thinking, you know, and, and so positive, um, you know, I just, you know, I, I bought in, you know, right from the beginning.